Welcome to the Trainer's Access episode number eight. We're here with our professional trainer and certified nutrition, Ms. Crystal Anderson. Welcome. Hello, thank you. And today we will be focusing a lot on exercise. What's the difference between, you know, working indoor, outdoor, muscle groups, but we're gonna to be touching a lot on essential amino acids and how ripped will work uh, after, uh, how our body will absorb the, the amino acids. So let's go ahead and start um, with, the, with the workout. Uh, we got some questions about what's the difference between uh, working indoor versus outdoors. Is it better? I know that you like to go out running, you know, um, outdoors and trails and things like that. So what, what, what's better? So it depends. I on your abilities. For me, I can run pretty much anywhere. I do love outside. I need the sun, but it's not often sunny. And here in our, where we're from, it can get pretty cold. So we have to consider temperature. We have to consider air quality and you know what our capabilities are. If you struggle with balance per se, you might not want to be outside or have someone go with you. If you feel like it's easier to do it indoors and get it over with, that's fine too. I say over with because for me, I don't, you know, cardio is not my favorite. Right. Um, but there's some workouts you can do besides cardio outdoors. Oftentimes I'll take my clients outside for squats or lunges or push ups. If it's a nice day, why not get that vitamin D? Oh, absolutely. So I, I noticed that you you go to hit the trail some, sometimes to, to, to kind of run. Is it, I mean, is it, rec would you recommend that to? with to people, I mean, or do they have to watch to see if they have good knee, the knees, because I know it's it's a little different than just, you know, jumping on a treadmill. Sure, yeah, you have to be careful of your limitations and your strengths. Um, if you don't have any joint pain and, and you can do it, go for it. Being outside is really good on the brain, the mental clarity, all of it. Uh, and then you get that rush of endorphins, I feel a little bit more outdoors, but you, you do want to assess what you are capable of and, and it doesn't hurt to have someone go with you. Right, perfect, great one. So now we're talking about cardio. So there's a lot of people that, that work out at the gym and then do cardio after. A lot of people start with cardio and then do their workout. So what's, in your experience, what's the best way to approach this? So that depends on your goals. This is a great question. I get asked this all the time. It depends on your goals and the amount of time that you have. If you're looking to really shred, doing cardio before weight training can help. If you do weight training and then cardio, but you're trying to put on muscle, sometimes the cardio can take away some of that muscle uh, definition you're gonna get and kind of fatigue the muscles too much and they may not repair properly. Uh, just everybody's goals are a little bit different, but if you're one of those people that I have to get it over with, do it. Do it when you have energy because that's better than skipping it entirely. Okay, perfect. So. Cardio, is it recommended to do it every single day? Or do you do you do like one day a week? Or what, what do you think with, with cardio? Well, I've seen the best results from people doing it three to five days a week. Again, it does depend on your schedule, your abilities, mm -hmm. what your doctors told you you should be doing. But I've seen people doing it six or seven days a week. I personally believe in a rest day, a recovery day. Right. You know, not just for your body, but for your mind. Uh, and then you can come back the day after a little more energized and hit a little harder. Listen to your body though. If you start feeling signs of fatigue or you're lacking motivation, maybe you want to scale it back a little bit. So say we have an hour to work out, scheduled to work out. How long do I hit cardio? So cardio is most beneficial after 20 minutes. If you can get it for at least 30 minutes, you'll get the most out of it. And 30 minutes of resistance training can go a long way. You of all people know yes. that. Yes, so in doing them both, an hour is plenty of time. Oh, perfect, awesome. So we talk about different muscle groups and how to train. I know that some, some people say, okay, so if you're gonna work out, you know, uh, arms, you can, you can work out, you know, back at the same time. How do you, um, define those muscle groups when you're working out? Okay, so defining them would be a lot different than just making sure that you're functional. Again, this depends on your needs, your goals. Uh, I have a, an older client, she's in her 70s. For her, we're not gonna focus on back and biceps. She's focusing on mobility. So we do a full body workout three times a week. If you're looking to really build those muscles, I've seen great results just focusing on one actual group, meaning not back, uh, and chest, they oppose each other, which sometimes they can fatigue each other mm -hmm. and you lose benefits. If you've got five days a week, try to focus on individual muscle groups. Okay, That'll perfect. That'll really ignite those. Right, because I've seen things on online and say, well, when you're, when you're pulling, you should do like, 
you know, back and probably triceps. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a good. Right. And you can do that if, but sometimes like we meet once a week and right. he's like, you know what? I haven't had time to work out. So I'm like, well, I guess we're going to hit a lot of muscles today because doing mm -hmm. all of them is better than skipping. Yes, for sure. And yeah. they hurt. But <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, so we covered uh, exercise muscle groups. Now let's talk a little about uh, the amino acids. Are they important uh, after working out? They are very important after working out. So essential amino acids just means that your body doesn't produce them on their own. We have to supplement those to get them. Uh, Ripped has nine essential amino acids in their product. Uh, it is patented. They have a great uh, ratio of aminos to help repair. Helps with a lot of other functions as, as well. Right. It's best to take these within 30 minutes of exercising. That's when your muscles are ready. And also you can fit in the uh, sizzling with that. Right. Your muscles are hungry. They're wanting that protein and you can combine these, right? Right, absolutely. So every time that uh, I come back from a training and I'm hurting everywhere, uh, I, I usually take one scoop of, uh, of collagen and two scoops of sizzling and a scoop of ripped. Okay, that's a powerhouse yes, of exactly. nutrients. And yes, good for you. No, right. definitely do that. That's a great way to get those muscles in repair mode and they're ready to build. But it doesn't stop there. When you take amino acids, it's not just about muscle recovery or muscle gain. It does help with that. It's tissue repair, it's energy. There's an emotional calm you get from all these. Helps with skin teeth, cognitive function. There are so many functions that amino acids help with. Right, and, and let's, let's mention, you know, uh, the formulation for RIPT has over, you know, $30 million uh, in research and it has uh, 30 human clinical trials on the actual formula. So it's a great product, guys. Seriously, try it after working out. I know uh, this last weekend we we had a tour and uh, we had some of our distributors uh, doing a workout and uh, and they can actually tell the story themselves how, you know, we worked out some muscle groups and afterwards they, they took this, the ripped and they're like, you know, I'm not really sore uh, at all. So it's, 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 it's a great product for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So you mentioned that we need to take these amino acids at least 30 minutes after your workout. Right. That's right. What if, what if, what if I don't have time or I don't work out for a couple of days? Do I still take it or or do I have Definitely. to be working out to take the amino acids? Definitely take it anyway. These are products that you should be taking every day religiously. Don't skip on them. It does help with the muscle breakdown as well and can slow that down. For instance, Milo travels and sometimes he's gone for a week and may not be able to exercise. So I told him to take two doses of ripped two scoops of his amino acids, and that's gonna help with the muscle that could potentially waste, and it'll keep his muscles good and strong in the meantime. All right, guys, well, uh, keep sending in your questions. We only have a few more episodes to go on our trainer access program, so make sure that you call customer service, you know, ask them uh, anything they have to do with nutrition or exercise, or whatever you, you feel like is gonna help you with your teams. You can go to Facebook, Instagram, any of our social media outlets and post your questions there and we'll be, make sure that we get them and uh, apply them to our next uh, our next episode. I think we'll, we'll be talking a little about uh, mood swings and how our you know exercising and nutrition can help with that for next week. So that's gonna be a, a very, very It'll interesting topic one. for sure. So make sure that you, uh, you keep uh, sharing this with, with your teams and uh, I guess we'll see you next week. Thank you so much, Crystal, appreciate Thank it. Thank you.